Hi, Embedded C and Embedded System Interview Question and Answers Part 1. So this is a separate playlist that we have created. You can just visit our channel and in the playlist section you can find the sequence of um, interview question and answers. Uh, like it will, it will go so far around 30 interview question and answers part. So that each uh, video consists of around 4 to uh, 6 question and answers. And before that if you want to follow us in the Instagram, Facebook or WhatsApp discussion for the interview as well as uh, the technical discussion or queries or uh, in the work wise if you stuck somewhere you can just uh, post it in the WhatsApp group and you can just get it uh, done and even Telegram group also we have and if you're not subscribed you can subscribe before that uh, you can also visit our official site https embedded.eduserve.com name sorry www.eduserve.com so you can just uh, find all our, all our tutorial in the sequence what is the size of character integer or integer pointer or character pointer all the questions and answers are respect to the embedded c only so what is the size of the character so these are all the interesting question that uh, you will be expect from the interviewer in, uh, in the view of embedded c so the size of the character is one byte the size of the integer is four bytes the size of the integer pointer and character is eight bytes on the 64 bit machine and 4 bytes on the 32 bit machine what is called as definition of the variable the definition of a variable is an action of uh, to allocate the storage so the main functionality of the variable is to just hold uh, some uh, values right so this is a uh, you know this is one of the basic uh, stuff that you can you may go through in the computer in your school days so just variable is just something to hold a value that is to it's allocate some storage space in another word we can say that the variable definition is the way to say the compiler so in depth if you want to uh, speak uh, you know uh, technically in a programming structure then you can say that the compiler where and how much uh, to store the particular uh, variable and how much allocate the storage for the variable for uh, declaration in terms of before using it into the program when you define a variable then there is no need to declare it but vice uh, when vice versa it is not applicable say for example if you want to define a variable you don't want to uh, declare it in a prayer so for, say for example uh, even in a, in a c program as you know embedded c is uh, is just a um, derived deri derivative of the c program so uh, say for example if you want to uh, you know just uh, you can declare integer a in t a and uh, or else you can and in the next step you can uh, define a equal to 5 or you can directly give us int a equal to 5 so this is uh, just a uh, basic stuff as it is a uh, first video that we are uh, going with the basic stuff so what is called as the declaration of variable so how we can declare the variable or what is the so that you, so far you know like uh, what exactly is but uh, in the way of interviews how you can uh, give a keyword so that is what we are trying to deliver here so here the question is what is called as the declaration of variable a variable declaration only provides a yeah, sureness to the compiler that variable exists first you have to tell the compiler that this is on variable that is exist with the given type like integer or character or float whatever it is the compiler proceeds for further compilation without needing all details of this variable then only the compiler starts to execute so of course this is a basic stuff that uh, it's really interesting to uh, recall this so compiler will just um, ensuring that yes, this variable is exist when we declare a variable we only give the information to the compiler but there is no memory reserved so this is one of the key point that you have to understand so while the declaration of variable so there is no memory will be reserved for it it is just a information to the compiler so it will not even uh, occupy the garbage space we declare the variable a variable multiple time but defined only once yeah that is uh, that is a uh, correct right so uh, the question arise may uh, is it possible to define the variable multiple times definitely no so for example if you are giving your uh, your uh, information say for example character name so your name will be always you know constant like once you have given in your database it will not be changed anymore so like your date of birth so in the same way the variable that can be defined only once in, um, in any program even in embedded c 
so if it is uh, more than um, one time then it will throw an error there is a multiple number of declaration has been done so like share and subscribe if you really uh, want to for uh, you know continue this playlist just you can always hit a like and leave a comment and in the upcoming uh, uh, slide upcoming question and answers part so there will be a number of questions it will start from the basic till the depth so it will consist around 30 to 40 part that we have planned so so far we'll uh, get the response from you guys and uh, we'll think about to proceed or not so 90 percent that we'll proceed so even though you know the response is not that much as we are hoping for the best in future also so catch you next tutorial and uh, just uh, subscribe this playlist the subscriber channel and just follow this playlist and uh, as frequent as ways to upload the video catch you and uh, yes uh, stay tuned until the next tutorial